What up, everyone? It's the 18th episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. <sighs> you know, when you have runny boogers in your nose and you can smell your boogers, it's kind of a good smell. I kind of like the smell of my own boogers. Also, notice something else that happened. Compton is over here. And it's hanging off. It's ready to fall. I was gone for the weekend. A couple of them fell off. Uh, and Compton's really hanging off right now. I can't wait to get a new backdrop. Don't know when it's going to happen. Uh, don't know when it's going to be. Don't know when it's going to be. Uh, excuse me for one sec. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Perfect. Gizmo, I see you. Oh, what a professional production this is. I just want to start off by saying, Cassim G, I'm calling you out, buddy. Me and me and Cassim started uh doing podcasts around the same time. He's obviously way more popular than I am. Not a big deal, but all I want to say is me and you are having a a podcast duel. Okay? I have more podcasts than you so far, but yours are way higher in quality. That's for sure. I don't know what I'm calling you up for. I just we have we are we're going to duel. I'm going to show up on your podcast. You're going to show up on my podcast. We're going to grab some batons, maybe some wooden spoons, and we're going to battle it out to the death. If I was from Kushtopia, I would be a Kushtopian. <laughs> and I would whoop yo brown ass because you from Egypt. Look at my pants. Look at my pants. Third, Canada, Canada's 150th birthday edition. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I got the card. Don't worry. Don't get yourself in a panic. I've got the card right here. Mmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What the hell? Every time, every single time, it's a bunch of bullshit on these cards. I say it every episode, but it's always the same bullshit. <laughs> and I'm the one who writes them. Uh, I'll just make some shit up based off of what I see. Because remember, I have this stupid rule that I have to read everything that's on the card. Um, what is your favorite time of the year? Mine used to be f like fall and spring. When I was when I was younger, it was spring, just spring, and then it was fall and kind of winter. I preferred the miserable days, and I still kind of do. I like I like summer, but I really like thunderstorms. There's nothing better than a heavy rain. And a lot of thunder and lightning. Give me that. I like that. I wouldn't mind living in Seattle for a little bit. But I feel like it, after I'd have it so much in Seattle, I'd get sick of it. So living where I live, where you only get it every so often, it uh, it's nice to have it when it comes. Where most people just hate it. Like when it rains, it's like, ah, gross. Get that away from me. I ain't want none of that rain. Come on, y'all, get that shit away from me. Oh, I can't wait to get a new backdrop. But anyway. Um. The time of the year also affects my mood. Some people think it's a myth that that shit happens, but I I think it's true. I used to get really sad in the summertime, and I'd get happier in the winter and fall. 
And now I'm just kind of happy all the way around. Sometimes. Sometimes not. I don't want to get too personal. Um... Not, well, there is a lot of people who do just prefer the winter for the fact that they get to go on their snowmobiles and 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 uh, snowboards and skiing and hockey or whatever the fuck they do. Curling. You know anybody who curls? I know people who curl. Curl! Just kidding. Speaking of curling... When I was in uh, elementary school, another elementary school story, I've been telling them a lot lately. The girls had like this curling club they all would go to after school. They'd always talk about it. And I'd hear them in the conversations or whatever. And I had no idea what curling actually was. I always, I would just picture girls in a room curling each other's hair. Because <laughs> it was all girls who were doing it. That's And then I told them about it and they laughed their ass off. But then they were like, nah, you throw this rock down the ice. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, that was my introduction to curling. So then when they said they throw the rock on the ice, I pictured an actual like rock. Like, not a smooth stone. But a rough boulder. And they're just hucking onto the ice. Yeah, these podcasts are great. Check them out. (laughs) They're just a bunch of garbage is what I say. They're not too bad, I guess. They're not too bad. Once I, uh, uh, yeah, you know what, they're not too bad. I feel like when that new backdrop comes in. It's going to motivate motivate me a little more. <laughs> uh, who's the cheesy YouTuber you don't like? I don't have any specific on, on hand. But I know that they're out there. They, uh... God, they're so... There's just people who make these videos. They, they're trying to be serious. They're really trying to be serious. It's just so hard to watch because they don't know, they just don't know how to do it. <sighs> they have all these shitty special effects and, and uh, like word art crap like that, and they think it's so good. And it's like, nah, bitch, you, you need to learn a thing or two. <clears throat> I'm a guac and rolly man. Aha. Uh-huh. I went to Tim Hortons the other day. Who knows who Tim Horton is? Who cares about him? Tim Hortons, I'm talking about the the franchise, Tim Hortons, okay? They sell coffee and donuts and sandwiches and shit like that. But they're they originated as a coffee donut shop. Canadian coffee donut shop. And every Canadian loves Tim Hortons. Why? Don't ask me. But anyway, they got bought by Burger King. So the owner of Burger King owns Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons. And look at what I found. What do you get when you combine Tim Hortons and Burger King? Picture something in your mind. Burgers. uh, Timbits. Fries. Lettuce. Coffee. But check this out. Look at that. Tim Hortons. It's a fucking, it's the same shit that Burger King has for their burgers. But they have them for Tim Hortons now. Isn't that crazy? I don't know, it just blew my mind. 
I got a fucking Big Mac burger in a Tim Hortons container. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. These stories usually sound more exciting in my head. And then when I when I get them out on the podcast, it's like, oh, not so exciting. Oh, that burp tasted nasty. Tasted like puke. Are you puking? Jeez, this might be a short podcast because we are pretty much out of shit to talk about. Oh, look at this. The last tick on here. Because I already talked about Cassim. Cassim, I'm calling you out. Me and you are showing up on each other's podcast and we're beating each other with wooden sticks. Low budget podcast. <laughs> That's the final tick. This is a low budget, pretty much. Well, I shouldn't say it's no budget because I had to buy stuff. Like the mic stand, the mic, the computer, the speakers, the camera, the tripod, the backdrop, the software. And there's a bunch of other crap for other stuff. So it's very low budget. So it's garbage. So if you're into garbage podcasts, come check out the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. That's all I got to say.